This is a video tech tip for troubleshooting a situation where your Casablanca video editor might not be outputting your audio signal. Several items here can apply to different generations of Casablanca editors. Before you begin with the outputs, double check that your audio is actually in fact getting into the machine okay. You can kind of confirm this if you go to the edit menu, find any of your video scenes here, and go into trim, and simply trim the in or the out and check and make sure your scrub audio is working. You can also see the exact same thing over in your audio record edit menu when you come in here and same thing if you play a clip. So that way you know that there is in fact audio going into the system. The very first thing you might want to check in the list of troubleshooting is to make sure that there's a proper setting going on in the system settings. So we'll come back here to the main menu and we're going to go up in here to the settings or system settings button. Newer SE users and Bogart SE users will want to have a look at this first. First, we're going to come in here and click on Settings and find a button called Record Playback. Go ahead and click on this menu. You'll see a volume slider. You want to make sure this volume slider is set to a very high percentage. If it's set here down in the 60s or the 80s, this might be too low for your monitor. Generally, we would say bring this up to 100 or maybe the high 90s. This control slider affects the output volume of your audio to a monitor. It physically won't affect the clips in the scene bin, but it could be one of the number one reasons why you don't hear any audio if it defaults too low for your monitor setup. Some newer SC and Bogart SE versions also have the ability to mute a track in the audio mix window by clicking on a speaker button for a track. If you come to the main menu and go to mix, Make sure you've checked all the locations that might give you sound. Make sure you check over here on the left side a series of speaker buttons. These different speakers can actually affect or manipulate an entire track. Right now these are all turned on. But if you actually click on a speaker and you adjust and set the slider down to mute or click on the mute key here, you'll see that the icon loses its ID here to indicate that it has sound. This might completely blank out a track of audio. You could always tell by simply playing in the mix window here. If you didn't hear any sound here, then you know your problem is probably this track setting. So make sure that these are set accordingly so that you haven't muted any particular audio tracks. I'd also advise coming out here to the project settings. There may be a particular project that's having the problem. That will help you determine whether the problem is coming from one project that has sound and another that doesn't because that way when we come in here if we find that project 3 has no sound then you know it's not a hardware problem. If your older SE machine has removable drives you might see if this a problem applies to multiple drives or single drives. Next let's check some of the other external variables that might be associated with such a problem. Check with another monitor if you have one. Some monitors may not detect audio in certain cabling modes. Remember if you're using single VGA output or DVI output offered on Bogart machines, those will not carry an audio signal. You must also be sending out an RCA audio output as well. Those either go into a separate speaker system or into the monitor along with your VGA or DVI input. Try all your RCA outputs. This includes older SCART outputs if they're applicable. S4000 models also have a rear HQ output or high quality output that you can also double check. Swap your audio cables. It's even happened here a couple of times. Never rule out a pinched audio cable or one that might have a problem with one of its plugs. If you're going through a distribution amp or a DA, sound system, mixer, or switcher before you go to the monitor, pull these out of the equation. We want to confirm with a direct connection to the monitor that the problem repeats itself. That way we can rule out another device causing the problem. If you're using an S3000 or an S6000, you might find the hardware reset switch helpful. There's a little pinhole behind the front pull-down panel on these models. You'll find it by the lower corner of the USB ports. Simply insert a pin tip here and press down for a couple of seconds. The system will automatically reboot. This is also a good troubleshooting item in general for these models for any situations where the machine might get stuck or have a complication. Once it reboots, check your audio samples again. Hopefully these things can help you successfully troubleshoot an on-location audio output problem with your editor. 
In most cases, one of these will probably resolve your problem for you. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube page so you can catch the latest uploads of our new video tech tips like this one from Macro System US. Thanks for watching.